Are you on the right track for career success? In this digital world of technological advancements and innovations, systems are increasingly complicated and interconnected. Engineering systems, a synergetic integration of mechanical, electrical and electronics engineering plays a critical part in making a life more comfortable, safer, convenient and productive. The Engineering Systems is a three years direct honors degree program that equip you with solid theoretical knowledge and strong practical skills in modern engineering systems, giving you a competitive advantage in your future career and ensuring you on the right track for career success. Hello everyone, welcome to SIT Open House 2023. I'm Andrew Ng, an Associate Professor and the Program Leader of the Engineering Systems degree program. The engineering systems is formerly known as Sustainable Infrastructure Engineering Land, which was awarded provisional accreditations in April 2018 and full accreditation in March 2021 by the Engineering Accreditation Board Institutions of Engineers Singapore. This means that the accredited degree program has satisfied all academic requirements for the practice of engineering at the professional level and met the standards of other mutual recognition agreements entered into by the Engineering Accreditation Board, including the Washington Accord. Since the engineering systems is an improved version of the former sustainable infrastructure engineering land, the accreditation status of the engineering systems degree programs remains unchanged. The accreditations for future badges of graduates will thus be Masters of Science in Mechanical Engineering with Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Systems. Graduates with the accredited degree can seek recognitions as a chartered engineer and a professional engineer. This will enhance their career advancements opportunities and widen their professional practice locally and globally. Unlike many other degree programs, this first of its kind applied multidisciplinary engineering systems degree programs offers specialization in land transport and microelectronics manufacturing, as well as elective for a minor in environmental sustainability. The program curriculum comprises core, elective, and specialization modules in addition to the integrated work study programs and capstone project. To ensure that the SIT graduates are highly employable and adaptable in this ever-changing world. The Engineering Systems Program curriculum also includes transferable skills modules like critical thinking and communicating, digital competency essentials, interdisciplinary design innovations, social innovation projects, and change management. SIT runs on a trimester basis, unlike some autonomous universities which run on a semester's basis. There are three trimesters per year. Each trimester lasts about four months and comprises 12 study weeks, one recess week, one final assessment week, and three trimester break weeks. About five modules are offered in each trimester. Each module has roughly 60 contact hours, comprising 24 to 36 hours of lecture and 24 to 36 hours of tutorials or labs. Through deliberate consultations with industry stakeholders, here are some examples of core, elective and specialization module offered in the degree program. Industrial Internet of Things, Data Engineering, Maintenance Engineering and Lean Management are examples of core modules. Environmental Sustainability Measurements and Environmental Sustainability Management are elective modules for a minor in environmental sustainability. Land Transport Specializations offers railway signalings and communications, rolling stocks and permanent way systems, and non-destructive testing. In contrast, Microelectronics Manufacturing Specializations offers process control for semiconductor manufacturing, fabrications engineering, and semiconductor devices and characterizations. Industrial relevance and hands-on learning opportunities on the intelligent and sustainable operations maintenance, repair, overall, inspection, testing, and management of equipment, systems, and facilities are integrated into the program curriculum. You will undergo rigorous academic training provided by highly qualified professors and industrial experts in this degree program, equipping you with the knowledge, skills, and abilities for a successful career upon graduation. 
As published in the news, Singapore is committed to growing its microelectronics manufacturing sectors in the coming years as the demand for semiconductor chips is rapidly increasing due to the technological advancements and innovations in Internet of Things, automations, artificial intelligence and communication networks. Semiconductor firms in Singapore are stepping up their talent development by upskilling existing workers and attracting new employees. Semiconductors Micron Technologies has committed to hiring 1,500 people in Singapore over the next few years. French-based semiconductor companies Soitac employs about 220 people yearly and is seeking to hire around 100 new employees as part of its efforts to manufacture 1 million wafers a year by 2026. Paul Corporations, a global supplier of filtration products, is setting up a new 139.6 million manufacturing facilities in Singapore to support the semiconductor industry's needs in Asia-Pacific. The companies will be creating more than 300 jobs for the new site. Semiconductor firm UMC is also building a new 6.8 billion wafer fab facilities in Singapore and will create more semiconductors jobs in Singapore. In addition to the booming semiconductor sector in Singapore, our local rail network is rapidly expanding. As you may be aware, our rail network will double from the current length of 200 km to about 360 km in 2030. At that time, in addition to the existing lines, we would have another four completed lines, such as the Downtown Line, Thomson East Coast Line, Jurong Region Line and Cross Island Line. The rail network will be as dense as in London, New York and Tokyo. This huge rail network will lead to 80% of household within a 10 minutes walk from a train station and 90% of buildings in the CBD within a 5 minutes walk from a train station, bring us to almost most part of Singapore conveniently. Apart from our local rail network expansions, the work in Singapore Johor Bahru Rapid Transit Systems has resumed and operations are expected to start in end 2026. Malaysia is also in discussion with Singapore on the revival of the Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail project. As these rail networks begin to grow and the existing networks need to improve, more railway jobs will be created and more railway engineers will be demanded by the land transport industry, such as LTA, SMRT, SBS Transit, ST Engineering, Transport Systems Original Equipment Manufacturers and Suppliers. To produce industrial ready graduates in the land transport industry, the engineering systems degree program is carefully designed and developed with advice and guidance from an industry advisory committee comprising key appointment holders in relevant industries such as LTA, SMRT and SBS Transit. The committee helps shape and define the program curriculum and educational objectives to ensure that the degree program stay relevant and meets the needs of industry and community. The vision of Engineering Systems degree program is to be the leading program for the engineering systems sector in Singapore, and its mission is to nurture individuals to achieve excellence in the ever-changing world of the engineering systems sector. Graduates of the Masters of Science in Mechanical Engineering program with Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Systems program after working for three to five years are expected to meet the program educational objectives. In collaborations with the non-destructive testing, in short NDT, Society of Singapore, the NDT certifications is incorporated into the program curriculum. Students obtain NDT professional training via program curriculum, work experience via integrated work study programs, and certifications examinations with the NDT Society of Singapore. Students can be trained up to NDT Level 3 partial, which is one level higher than that of most local NDT engineers. Apart from the NDT certifications, knowledge and skills gained from the Data Engineering and Lean Management modules form part of the requirements to qualify for professional Lean Six Sigma Yellow Belt and Green Belt certifications. Integrated Work Study Program, IWSP in short, is a distinctive feature of SIT's degree programs. It is eight-month 
of work attachments that allows students to integrate theory and practice, deepen their specialist skills, as well as develop their career, professional and innovation skills. Prior to the IWSP, students will attend the annual career nexus where they can network with potential employers to understand job opportunities and requirements. Potential employers will subsequently post job description in SIT Ready Talent Portal where students can apply. Shortlisted applicants will then attend interview sessions arranged by the employers. More than 20 companies have participated in the IWSP so far. Examples of these companies are LTA, SMRT, SBS Transit, ST Engineering, Infion, Microns, ST Microelectronics, Engineering Systems Services and Consultancies, Transport Systems Original Equipment Manufacturer and Suppliers. Towards the end of the IWSP, the IWSP students share their IWSP journey with their juniors, peers, work supervisors, colleagues, and academic staff. Here are some IWSP posters highlighting the student work experiences, contributions, and achievements during IWSP with the land transport industries. An informal survey was conducted among 38 Bachelor of Engineering graduates in December 2021 and found that 93.3% of the respondents were employed and 36.7% received an advanced job offer from their respective IWSP companies, thereby securing a job before they even graduated. The latest graduate employment survey in March 2022 shows 96.3% of the graduate was employed with a mean basic monthly salary of 3,606 and a mean gross monthly salary of 3,788. In the course of study, students also participated and won several awards in various local and global competitions. For example, a group of students created a prototype to harvest energy from vibrating train tracks and won a merit award at the Engineer Innovation Challenge in 2015. A gold award at the SAM called EMA Energy Challenge in 2017. A bronze award at the World Skills Singapore 2018. This winning team is the first and only university students to take home medals from the World Skills Singapore 2018 competition. The Best Students Paper Award at the 2020 IEEE 5th International Conference on Intelligent Transport Engineering. A Silver Award at the SIT Hackathon 2022 organized by SIT, Singapore Science Centre and NEO Astronautics Private Limited. The student team proposed an advanced manufacturing and innovation capsule using 3D printing technology for use in space. As of today, SIT is the only autonomous university in Singapore offering engineering systems degree program with specializations in land transport and microelectronics manufacturing, the fast growing sectors in Singapore and worldwide. Furthermore, the unique industry oriented degree programs also allows you to earn a minor in environmental sustainability and professional certifications in non-destructive testing and Lean Six Sigma. Unlike engineering graduates from other autonomous universities, SIT provides substantial applied learning opportunities, especially through the integrated work-study program to the students. As such, our industry-ready engineering systems graduates will be fully equipped with the knowledge, skills and abilities needed in the 21st century. They can confidently hit the ground running with successful careers in land transport, microelectronics manufacturing, engineering systems, or related fuel upon graduation. Thank you for listening. We look forward to your applications to the engineering systems degree program. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.